I'm Brenda. Welcome back to my quilt room. I'm really excited to show you a project that I just recently completed. Now, you've, if you watch any of my videos, you know I started off doing a video of how to fold a hanky into the shape of a dress. And I made a wall hanging for myself. Well, when I showed a picture of it to one of my friends, she had some hankies from her mother and grandmother and asked me if I would set them into a quilt that she could display on her wall. So that is what I have behind me here. These are mostly her hankies and a few out of my collection that I gave her um, to make her quilt. Now this one came out a little bigger than mine and it's 63 by 63. There's 16 um, hankies in the quilt and I just thought they came out so cute. This one is uh, from the state of Texas and there's another one down here from Colorado and I don't know that they lived in Colorado but I do know at one point they did live in Texas and I just loved these. They are so cute the Christmas ones, and then this one down here for Valentine's Day. It is just adorable. And this little red one that has the little flower cart on it, and that's another one for Christmas. They're just really pretty. This one down here was from Florida. So it turned out, like I said, 63 by 63. I did the border a little bit different than I did mine, but I used the white and the off-white, and you can see the zigzag pattern. And it was hand quilted by the group that I sew with. And so I thought it would be interesting for me to show you some of the hankies that I have in my collection. And believe it or not, I probably have about 75 hankies in this little box. but. There are hankies out there, and I find them mainly in antique malls uh, with initials on them. And here's a little one that's like for a child. They used to make these for children, and I thought that one was really cute. Here's one for a child with a little bunny rabbit on it. Now, one that I just found recently, like a year ago, this was so interesting to me. I found this in an antique shop, and if you look carefully, everything on here is a sewing notion. There's uh, safety pins, thread, thimbles, a sewing box, and I took, I, I couldn't I wasn't sure if I knew exactly what this tool was, so I took it to the group that I hand sew with, and they all thought that it was for darning. And sure enough, when I researched it on the internet, that's what this was, like a, wooding, a wooden darning tool, I guess that you would put up inside of a sock as you would mend it or sew it. And I just thought, I don't know what I'm going to make out of this one yet, but I think it is so interesting. And then, like I said, there's lots of hankies out there of the states. This one was from Missouri. It would be fun if you wanted to make a hanky quilt and find hankies from maybe all of the states where you took a vacation or a trip or that you lived in. And then I have a couple of black hankies. These are kind of scarce and hard to find. Um, they were called morning hankies. And so they were used at funerals. And I'm sure you know, they had many tears cried into them. And they simply got worn out and didn't last. But though, that's just a little piece of all the hankies that I have in my collection that I intend to do something with eventually. But anyway, um, I wanted you to see my latest finished project 
and I'm going to give this to her and I'm sure she'll be happy with it and it'll hang on her wall for many years. Now, like I said before in my original video, this isn't a quilt that you're going to want to use on a daily basis. It's merely for decoration. These I stabilized really well with um, interfacing. I did fold them and then stitched them down by hand and then the whole quilt was hand stitched, uh, hand quilted. So this is the second hanky dress quilt. And if you want to see the first one, we'll put a link to that one below this one. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.